Yes. And then I'm testing the Oculus Quest and new feature that it uh, stream EVR, the Oculus Link. Well, good before, but uh, you had to site load stuff. Now uh, Oculus officially supports this. So here I am trying uh, universe. I'm trying this what's I've been playing around with it, and I must say there are some issues. First, it seemed to work really nice, uh, which it, it's overall does. But then um, you just plug in the headset. Uh, it asks you if you want to launch Oculus Link headset. And, uh, yes, and you will launch Oculus. Uh, Rift headset, pretty much. Um, the resolution and graphics, they seem very good, I think. As far as I can tell, they are actually indexed us. Yeah, it's probably a lower resolution, but just not very good at telling. Probably other people be a bit better too. Evaluate that. So the setup is extremely easy. I mean, you just use the setup uh, and the uh, area you already set up with the quest. So this is the area I set up with the quest. Um, if I go outside it, what, what happens? In my room. If that actually probably not. But. And I check by the side. Let me just test some. Some sounds seem to work. But yeah, the more important thing I wanted to test was that the yeah, work. But also working. Now test action times. Sound action. That's nice. In VR also had some nice updates where it gets the all the sounds better. Oh, I'm actually teleporting. Existential verification special. Attention, Pocket Universe Lab 8. Workplace safety is everyone's responsibility. Hello, 
actually. I think I'll just show some different things. So let's go back to uh, to Oculus regular. Should still be recording. Good. And so I'll try my library. And I have set up all my three screens here. And then it's not using the Oculus Rift microphone because um, when I connect it, it actually doesn't detect the the Oculus Rift as uh, as being its own audio devices uh, like so there's no uh, Quest microphone and no Quest speakers that's why I'm using uh, an external microphone that I've just uh, have an extension cord for with that and it's Looks pretty. There are some issues. Uh, when I start out, it seems for some reason always the right hand microcontroller doesn't track. If it keeps being a problem, it helped me remove the batteries and plug it in again and it worked. But it was just stuck in a place uh, like it was. Well, but I also tried it with Stormland. And then, um, well, it overall runs really well. One thing, uh, yeah, my hardware is an RTX 2080 Ti. GPU is an AMD 3700X, so I do have quite a bit of hardware. But it does seem like it might be pretty heavy on the hardware. This setup it's a bit hard to tell, I guess. Because also I can't really compare it to much other than my index. Probably own even heavier to you with its higher frame rate. But it actually seems to run better than with the index for game at least. Not really. I'd be using the full fusion of the headset. Not sure how to make a good comparison, but I'm sure other YouTubers will with that. This game doesn't have any sound right now in the headphones. I have a um, Wife Deluxe Audio Head Strap connected to the headset, but disconnecting it does not still don't have any audio in the headset. Uh, it also doesn't transport the audio to It did work to begin with um, So I'm not sure what happened but after I had to restart and so on, at, uh, in the beginning it was uh, not using SteamVR because I had my index connected, so that just didn't work at all. So I disconnected it. Then it worked. Now I can use SteamVR. Regular. There's some really nice updates for, for Oculus also since the last time I used it. You can now uh, deactivate Oculus Home. Right now, but I found it on the computer. I can click home. Well,
Cool. Likes a bit because I've stuffed it with. As far as I can tell, all looks better than on the rift. But uh, can't compare it to the rift S. That's like a bit here. Probably the Great to have. Oh, yeah, and so new. If I can that portal. And how I connected the headset. I have a USB 3.0 cable, and and um, it's an active cable. Uh, it, it can extend for longer than two meters or something. And and, uh, and it also means that uh, there's a power going through the cable. Might reduce the power that uh, it sits, charges with. A problem with using a uh, free cable is that it only charges with 2.9. And uh, and the Oculus headset, Oculus Quest headset, needs three amps to to actually be charging and powering all the power that it uses. So using it like this, I would end up running out of power. I've used it for an hour, be an hour and a half. Now at uh, seventy-five percent or something like that. So it will last a while, but you will also run out of power eventually. Oculus does recommend using an USB 3.2 cable. That's not because it would improve the, the graphics quality or the, the bandwidth of the cable, because it still is a USB 3 connection in the headset. It's a 5 gigabit connection, but it will. Uh, but the difference is that USB 3.0, yeah, as I said, only delivers less power, but with 3.2 or 3.1 generation 2, it will be able to uh, charge with more power. I think both of them actually support 3 amps, but it might only Oculus officially just that you for the cable stand with it, at least if th third parties are to make a, a cable for the Oculus. Um, and it's impressive. Once they've worked out the issues, there's probably workarounds that uh, this is really nice. Because it is compressing everything. I have to say, uh, it should be compressing so that it, uh, it renders the center of your view in a higher resolution than than when you look left and right in the headset. So so the corners of your your uh, place should render at a low. Hmm. You see some something on something a bit not sure how to call it, but maybe that's just zoom. Seems like it flickers a bit with the gold areas. Go. Come on, works well. So far, I've only been playing these games with uh, Revive.
Wait. Like the touch controllers now a bit, and the Valve Index controllers. Uh, at least when the games aren't designed for it, when the when the game expects to you to use the grab function for grabbing things, it just really doesn't work well. Oh, for me, you have to not grab the controller because if you do, you will activate the grab mechanism. And uh, with the Quest controllers, you can actually grab the controller without without clicking the grab buttons um, so so now I'm grabbing the controller and I'm pressing the grab triggers uh, and then it grabs Go forth. Embark on your quest. this lagging a bit might be because I'm recording a video Can't so What that is about? Oh, there is more so. glory to be had. Yes. So far, I can highly recommend trying this. It uh, really seems like there's no argument for not replacing the. getting the quest instead of the Rift S at this point. Some like how the Rift S has. I don't know, less noticeable screen door effect and less god rays. But god rays really seem minimal with the quest already. The quest does have better black colors, I think, but not really something I'm too worried about. Uh, not something that has annoyed me with the index. With the index, I'm annoyed by the glare problem. It has uh, light reflecting in lenses in a way that really annoying, but mainly in games that are a bit dark, like the game actually, but not so much in uh, Domeland. But when you do use um, Steam VR, uh, there is a lot of black around you. It really shows in the So I might actually switch to, to using the Quest as my regular system, until a friend of mine is going to borrow it. That's it for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. There might be better videos about how this works. Yeah. Have fun.